You know, sometimes people come to church and we say to them that life without Christ is full of crisis. So they come to church and if God is taking them through the process, taking them through the process, they might think that there's something wrong with their faith. Is this something that I am doing? And so instead of us teaching them that this Christian work is a work of trials and temptations, this Christian work is a work of test because you cannot be promoted without being tested by the master. The other day, Job said it. He said that he knew the way that I take. And after he had tried me, I will come out as gold. In Psalm 105 and the verse 19, it, is, it was talking about Joseph. He said, until his time came, the word of the Lord tried him. So when people come, instead of us preaching this kind of messages, that Christianity is sacrifice, Christianity is work, Christianity is having a deeper relationship with God, Christianity is maturity. We don't tell them some of these things. And we tell them that life without Christ is full of crisis. So now I've received Christ. Why am I going through the things that I'm going through? One deception that is killing the body of Christ. And that is why I disagree with that phrase that what life without Christ is full of crisis. We need to teach the world and we need to inform them very well. That is what the Bible is all about. Tell them the truth. You see, a lot of people want to hear sugar-coated messages that they will get excited, but their lives will not be transformed. And that is what a lot of us preachers are doing. We have become motivational speakers, motivating people, giving them messages that their itchy ears want to hear. And spiritually, they are not growing. They come to church and give some testimonies and they get excited. I've got a new car. I've got a new cow. I have a new house. I have this thing. I'm getting excited. Listen, those things are secondary. And that is why God, Bible said that, seek ye first the kingdom. These things will follow. What is the kingdom? The kingdom is a personality. The kingdom is Jesus himself. Build a personal relationship with him. And in building a personal relationship with Christ, there are things that you will fall. You will rise. You will be tested. You will pass the test. Sometimes you will fail. You will pray for mercy. But along the way, you are growing your maturity. That is the process and these are the messages we need to preach and let's stop this motivational message so people of god it is a wake-up call let's strive as paul said that i may know him as as the other apostles went and they took their handkerchiefs let, 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 it's good but let's look for the body let's look for the way let's look for jesus christ himself let's touch him let's feel him let's desire that encounter that divine encounter with him Every now and then when we get the opportunity to come before the presence of God, that we, we may know him and the power of his resurrection. And when you know Christ and the power of his resurrection, Pastor Isaac, what is it that will die in your life when that resurrection power is manifested in your life? But we don't know the power of his resurrection, the significance which is the word of God, his resurrection, which is the body, is the word of God, is the resurrection of the word of God. At a time where the Pharisees were teaching the people religious activities and all kinds of things, Jesus came on the scene and said, let's go back to the basics, the word of God, the oracle of God. Hallelujah. So for me, that is my take on it. It's that let's break from this deception of tokens, mantles, they are very good. But let us not make it a religious act of the spirit of the Pharisees and the spirit of the Sadducees. That is what is operating in the kingdom of God now. Religiosity. We organize programs for what, what is the impact? What is the, what is the reason? What, what do we hope to achieve? What, 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 what what kind of impact do we want to see on the members? And do we achieve it? Does something, something break loose in our, no, 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 no. This program, the level of spiritual growth we wanted to see in our members, we didn't see. Let's go back. So when the true gospel is not preached, now this is where it lies the people. They become shallow. They become shallow. Hallelujah. They become shallow. That is it. So the deception is to present something. What do we preach in our church today? What do we preach in our church today? How are we discipling the people? Listen, ministry is simple. Going to win source, discipling them. Period. Nothing else, nothing more. That's what our ministry is about. That's what our ministry is about. Ministry is about soul winning. You bring them to church, you disciple them for them to also partake. 
of the gospel and also go and preach. That is all the ministry is all about. And this concept can be seen and followed through through the books of the Old Testament, as we call it, Exodus chapter 18, when Jethro visited Moses, so that this thing that you are doing yourself, you kill yourself and kill the people. Then he gave him the criteria of what ministry is. The Acts of the Apostles did the same. Acts chapter 6, we, we, uh, the Apostles said, and the 12 Apostles said, and the 12 said, we, 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 we cannot leave the word of God and go and save people. We cannot do that. Two things, preaching and the teaching. Listen, it, 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 it is sequential. Paul did the same thing. Acts chapter 19. Paul did the same thing. It runs through the scriptures. That's why I said the foundation is from Genesis. Listen, any other thing besides this in ministry is deception. That's all. That is the greatest commission. That's all. So the question is, how are you leading the people 